beauty welcome back to my channel i really hope that all of you guys have been slaying this entire while and yes today is another swatch video um that i'm bringing to you guys so nika recently sent me their newest launch that is the lip glaze lip oil they sent me four shades in this particular range so there are other products as well that i have not shown you guys that i've been using recently so i'm going to be like using that as well and just putting it out there for you guys before we swatch the lip oils so um now moving back to the lip oils so nika sent me four shades they sent me jelly jam cherry custard pink meringue caramel pudding so it's pronounced as meringue it's not uh m e r i n g u e it's not meringue it's meringue so um i i myself had to google it because i did not know how to pronounce it when i read the description about these lip oil they basically have like a jelly like texture so they're ideally jelly like nourishing lip oils which technically didn't make sense to me because if it's a lip jelly how can it be a lip oil because it's not the same texture at all and the other thing is that it's formulated with three nourishing oils that is going to hydrate your lips so basically give you like a really hydrated lips with a glossy sheen so a lip oil that gives you a glossy sheen and also has a jelly like texture okay didn't make sense to me at all and i was really intrigued when i read read about this and i couldn't wait like i couldn't wait for the pr package to arrive i was also told that these particular products have a really unique scent they practically smell like your favorite dessert okay um unique as in and you guys will wait and you guys will watch it and you guys will see it for yourselves what i'm talking about so um i couldn't wait and i opened one of them and checked the texture i also sniffed the same and i was swooned so we're going to just quickly do my base makeup with a few products that i haven't that i have been using recently and um they're pretty new launches as well and i've not put it out there for you guys so we're going to do my base makeup and uh two of the products uh that i'm going to be doing my base makeup with is the nika matte last velvet matte foundation this is another installation in their pore minimizing foundation and the second product is the nika's pore blurring loose powder so these are the two products that i have been using recently but i have not showed it to you guys so quickly let's just get into my base makeup and then we're going to swatch these amazingly delicious smelling lip glaze oil so for my foundation i'm going to go ahead with the nika's matte last velvet matte pore minimizing foundation this is the second um installation or i would say another texture of this particular foundation so they have two pore minimizing foundations this is a velvet matte one i am in the shade 7n so the other pore minimizing foundation is in the shade 6 yellow um because i got this in the natural shade because i felt that this one will neutralize my skin tone more because the other foundation has like a yellow undertone so it makes my face look really warm the other thing i really like about this foundation is that it has a really soft velvet matte finish that i like easily blendable i'm blending it with a beauty blender because i feel it gives more coverage since it's a velvet matte finish you can like a uh, belt coverage for this foundation next i'm going to set my foundation with the nika a uh, matte last pore blurring loose powder i am in the shade uh, 04 latte so it comes with this cute little applicator as well that i like it's like a really small mesh on top of the powder otherwise loose powders tend to leak and they become really messy so it's a nice convenient packaging that nika has come out with i'm going to set my under eye with this and also basically lather it all over my face because i have a little bit open pores around my cheeks and underneath my chin as well i'm focusing this powder mainly on my teeth this is the part of my face that i tend to be more oily and you can see how mattified my teeth zone looks after i've applied the pore blurring powder so i'm going to set my makeup with the matte finish nyx 
matte finish uh, makeup setting spray. Since it's a velvet matte texture, I wanted to set my makeup with this particular setting spray. So when Nyka reached out to me and told me about this product that they're launching and especially when they mentioned specifically that this particular lip glaze is going to have um, like a really unique fragrance that excited me a lot and I realized that when I got the product and when I unboxed it like before showing it to you guys I definitely took a sniff I was swoon big time Next I'm just going to set my brows with the Nyka Oh My Brow Gel. This is one of the most affordable brow gels in my makeup vanity and it's so tiny, it's not even the size of my palm. So it's very easy to carry as well. Next, I'm just gonna do like a quick uh, pink eyeshadow look with the Nyka's uh, Eyes on Me 10 in 1 eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade uh, Daydreaming. It is like a palette of uh, pinks only and that's what I really like about this palette so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take the lighter pink shade because it kind of matches my top and just apply it on top of my eyelids before I get into the swatches of the lip glaze I just want to um, do a quick Makeup. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Before we get into the swatches, I'm just going to add a little bit of volume to my lashes. I know I'm making you guys wait for it, but these are products that I've been trying recently and I just wanted to show it to you guys as well. So you guys have already seen um, the packaging of the lip glaze, but uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys again. Nyka sent me four shades. I have one shade which is called Jelly Jam, and the other shade is Caramel Pudding, which is like a really soft um, mid tone brown. Then we have uh, Pink Meringue. It's spelled as M E R I N G U E, but it's pronounced as meringue. And then we have the shade cherry custard. So I'm just going to quickly open all of them. All right, let's start with the first shade. Now, this is the lightest, it's almost like transparent. So I'm just going to quickly open it. I don't know if the camera can catch that, but it has a texture of a jelly like I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna now that the camera is focused on it can you guys just see the texture of this lip oil like is it supposed to be lip jam or is it a lip oil like I'm confused and I'm intrigued at the same time and now for the real test let's just take a sniff <gasps> It smells like jam. It literally smells like jelly and I, I'm just, oh my gosh, it smells yummy. It smells just like a jelly jam and now, now, and now I'm curious to just smell the rest of the products. We're going to swatch it later on but I'm going to smell everything. Now the next shade is caramel pudding. Let's see how this smells. <gasps> it smells like pudding. Why? I mean, why Nika? Why would you do this with us? And the next one is cherry custard. So let's see how this smells. It smells like cherry custard. Okay. I was watching these lip oils. I'm actually more interested in just smelling them. The last shade is pink meringue. Let's see how this smells. First of all, this is supposed to be a lip oil with a jelly texture and then it smells so yummy. It smells like dessert. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't even know what to say. Are these supposed to be like a lip oil or a lip jelly or they're just supposed to smell like your favorite dessert? Like I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and first swatch the jelly jam first. So I brought you guys a little bit closer. I want you to experience the jelly-like lip oil 
gliding onto my lips even though it's on the wand it's still like jelly i don't know if you guys can see this but it's literally not like um a lip oil and i'm i'm just it's it's the most unique formula of a lip oil for me so i'm just going to um apply this and i want to apply it on my lips like directly without a lip liner or even with any or without any other product because i want to see how this applies or um i just want to see how hydrating it is so here it goes so you guys see that it's so hydrating i had chapped lips before i applied this but now it's just gone and then there's this glaze onto my lips like it glides on so smoothly my lips look so juicy and glossy at the same time and and even if i'm rubbing my lips together it's not that sticky usually lip oils have a really sticky texture and i think even so does a lip jelly but it's lightweight but it also that gives you that glazed lip look like even though it's a transparent lip gloss it's not even even though it's like it has a slight tint to it but then as well it looks so good it's hydrating and also leaves your lips with like a gloss like sheen that i like because um it's supposed to be a lip jelly so um like a like a jelly like lip oil formula and um it's kind of confusing when you think about it that is it is it going to be that hydrating because when you think of a jelly it's not that hydrating but it is like it just took away all my chappiness from my lips and that is why I want to apply it without anything on my lips the shade is caramel pudding and this is like a really neutral um brown color this is like a neutral brown color i'm going to quickly swatch it on my lips for you guys um i don't think this one has a jelly like texture i think it's only for the transparent one that i swatched earlier so let's see oh you guys know that i'm obsessed with the fragrance of this one right i kind of love how pigmented this one is initially i thought that this particular shade wouldn't look good on me but now it looks really nice like it's just blended so seamlessly and the pigmentation of this particular product is so even usually lip oils or even lip glosses don't have such even pigmentation so and the texture of this particular one is more like a lip gloss i would say it's more creamy like a liquid lipstick so i don't know if the texture of each and every one is different because they smell different and um definitely makes your lips look more voluptuous but um i don't think it it has a plumping effect at all but um i think the texture of this one is slightly different from the first one because it's creamy but it also has that little jelly like texture but it also runny at the same time unlike the first one the first one the jelly jam one was definitely like a jam and like a jelly so the next shade is pink meringue and um this as well oh you may see the texture of this one it definitely has like a slimy um like a really runny jelly texture but it's creamy at the same time so i'm kind of confused um this smells so different like it smells like a tropical drink so let's see how the color is Now this shade here is definitely like a mid tone cool tone I would say like a pink um it's definitely like a rosy pink color and I like such shades this is definitely one of the most unique shades that I've swatched it's a really nice mid tone cool rosy pink color and the color payoff of this particular shade is amazing so i don't think these uh, lip oils are transfer proof because if they were and they are neither tint so i don't think they leave a shade or a tint behind as well so that's a one thing for these uh, lip oils now that i've like applied three of these lip oils i can definitely feel that my 
lips are hydrated like when i apply them it's just more smooth and more even so it feels like as if i've got some primer uh before i've applied these particular products because it has a really nice smoothing effect last shade is cherry custard and i love the fragrance of this one it smells literally like a cherry pie or a strawberry cheesecake or a cherry cheesecake it literally smells like a cheesecake and i love it so this is the shade and i wanted to like swatch the shade the last because this is the darkest shade and it's red and you can see that now when i just removed it it also like stays on the wand unlike like a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss it's just going to drizzle away it's just going to like drizzle away or like move along the wand but this one stays so i think all of them have like a little bit of fluidy runny jelly texture but the first one's texture is the best so i'm going to quickly swatch this shade this particular shade is like the perfect cherry pink color and on the on the bottle it looks like on the tube it looks more uh, red now that i've swatched it i feel it's more like on the pinkier side than it being like a red so um i love the fragrance of this particular shade it's so sweet it smells sweet it smells sweet like um like a strawberry cheesecake or um like really sweet vanilla like fragrance and this is the fragrance that i love love the most i just like can't stop staring at myself while i wear like while i have the shade on me but um i love the four shades that they've sent me and the best part about these products is that um it's supposed to be like a really unique formula like a jelly glaze lip oil so usually a lip oil will not give you the glaze like this so it's definitely like a unique uh, formula it's a def definitely a unique texture um that the nikon lip glaze oil has so it sets it apart just because it has a unique texture and also the shades are amazing the color payoff is really nice they're really pigmented guys like, just saw the swatches i kind of felt that usually lip oils when you see them in the bottle they look um that they're going to give you a tint but they usually do not but this one definitely gives a really good payoff when it comes to the pigmentation and it smells amazing like i'm somebody who doesn't like a lot of heavily fragranced products but these ones like these babies here definitely impressed me you can say that i have a sweet like i have a sweet spot for sweet smelling things but um i kind of felt that these products would be heavily fragranced but no they're not and um it's really fi it's finely fragranced and there is like a good balance of the fragrance the texture and also when it comes to the application and the pigmentation but the only downside about these products is that they are not transfer proof because everybody wants a transfer proof lip lipstick or a liquid lip color nowadays but these babies are not so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i've listed all the products below in the description also do not forget to use the coupon code that i've mentioned down in the description below as well so if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel i will be back with a lot of more swatches and a lot of more makeup tutorials for you guys don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so you're always notified whenever i post a video and i will see you guys in another makeup video